Good evening, Everblades fans, and welcome back to Hertz Arena for another Florida Everblades pregame show ahead of the last preseason game before we get going for real. Alongside Will Henschel, I'm Jake Maurice. Will, 4-2 win for the Everblades yesterday in their first preseason game. Really got things going in the second period. What was it you saw that changed between the first and the second that allowed the Blades to take over the game? It was really the speed, Jake. And, and if you look at the shot totals, it, it tells a lot of the story. Eight shots in the first period for the Everblades, and then 17 in the second so they were just far more aggressive, just really peppering the netminder rather than you know being selective with their shots and just being aggressive off the draw. I mean, f the Orlando Solar Bears scored very quickly into the first period, and it only took I think you know half a minute into the second period for Florida to get on the scoreboard, and then the floodgates just opened up for the Everblades, tallying three goals before the horn sounded. So it was aggression, it was speed. They got I think a little on their heels in the first period, but after kind of re regrouping and recuperating in the first intermission got the energy going for the second also helping out in the second period was the power play two quick goals exactly. to start the period while up a man obviously special teams so important got to be a good time to get that going early in the preseason yeah florida two for seven on the power play tonight and or last night i should say a really effective showing after you know the team sort of struggled on special teams last year good to show that they're getting some production out of the man up advantage number of guys had strong nights zach Secos a pair of points oliver chow as well patrick hallway a strong game showing up on the score sheet with an assist who else stood out to you from last night's match i think bobo carpenter played a, a pretty solid game but also evan cormier turned aside a, a lot of quality shots the first goal he led in was a little bit soft uh it's definitely one he's going to want to have back to squeak through his arms i believe the the second goal that he allowed in the third period was just an unbelievable play by Orlando. A great one-timer, a great tip. But, you know, in between those two goals that he allowed, he played really, really strong, had a lot of good saves, and really kind of denied Orlando a lot of good opportunities and kept the Everblades in this. This was a really close game late into the third period. Only a 3-2 advantage. Only became a 4-2 game because of that Bobo Carpenter empty netter. So... The Everblades really needed Cormier to stand on his head for a, a big portion of that game. And he sure did. 28 saves on 30 shots. Played the whole game, and now tonight we expect that Cam Johnson will do the same. Obviously, last time he was in this building in an Everblades jersey, hoisting the June M. Kelly Cup as the playoff MVP before hoisting the Kelly Cup for a second straight year with the Florida Everblades. It's going to be great to see him back out there with his regular attitude and swagger alongside his excellent goaltending. Yeah, and, and, and this is kind of, we were debating what was going to happen yesterday because they were both on the ice. Cormier got the nod last night, so obviously Cam Johnson, he just confirmed to us a couple of minutes ago that he will be playing later on tonight. And, and it, this is a good experience for, for everybody. You get used to having both goaltenders behind you. Cam Johnson gets reps, Cormier gets reps, and this is just a great balance. So still going to be interesting to see who's getting the opening day nod, but good to see both tendies playing in the preseason. Yeah, now Orlando, this is their last chance on the other side of things. They didn't play a bad game yesterday. They were strong in the first, strong in the third, especially trying to mount a comeback. But here you want to set yourself on the right path if you're Orlando going into the actual season, less than a week away from today when we start off at Amway Center against the Solar Bears. So what are you expecting to see from them tonight? I'm expecting to see a, a little more of a, kind of a, a quick game. They seem to kind of settle back. They seem to get a little complacent with that one goal lead. But as we saw from the Everblades, if you take that break and you come out strong in the second, you got to play a full 60 minutes. You can't win the first 20 and then expect to get the W. So I think Orlando really has to keep their foot on the gas during you know the first, second, and third, and really just keep pressuring Cam Johnson. It's going to be difficult. They kind of wane down on their shot totals as the night went on. You got to keep the pressure up. You got to just get. It's not necessarily so much about quality but quantity and eventually something might happen for the Solar Bears. On the Everblade side, a couple of lineup changes as you'd expect in preseason. Coaching staff wants to get a look at a number of different players. So who are you looking to tonight to make a difference for the Blades and try and pick up another preseason win? Cole Moberg didn't play last night. He's getting a, a slot on the D pairing now. Or We actually saw him playing a little bit of forward in training camp, but he'll be on the ice tonight. And I, he, he can definitely be a difference maker. He can facilitate a lot. He's great on the back check. He plays a little bit of a, of a more aggressive defenseman when he's up on the blue line, but he's a player that didn't play last night and I think should be somebody to look out for tonight. All right, and your three keys to the game, Will. I think for to get a second preseason win for the Everblades, you got to stay aggressive, you got to lean on your defense, and you got to keep the penalty kill up. Uh, really effective special teams last night on the PK unit. Orlando almost had no breathing room. We're over three on the power play going into the third period. They did get one in the third, but 
for a majority of the night, the Everblades were just suffocating the Solar Bears when they were on the man advantage. Yeah, Blades going three for four on the penalty kill and two for seven on the power play. Certainly something that would be good to carry into the regular season. Thank you for listening in to the Florida Everblades pregame show. Up next, warm-ups ahead of preseason hockey at Hertz Arena.